Hello, I'd just like to start the video by saying thanks for a thousand subs. There'll be a special video on that soon. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pet wolf. So it'll follow us by default. And then when we go up to it and tell it to sit, it will stop following us and we can move around freely. And then we go up to it again and tell it to follow us again. It will be able to move and follow us. So I'm going to be using this poly art wolf for my pet wolf. It was free a while ago and comes with loads of great animations if you want like a companion for your game. So if we head over to the poly art wolf folder, I've imported it into my project and go to the animations. I'm going to right click, create animation and create a blend space 1D. So this will just control uh, the running and walking animations for my wolf character. So we go inside here and I'm going to look for his idle animation and just place this at zero. And then we're going to look for his walk and running animations. So I'm just going to look for walk forward, put it there. And to his run forward. And we can see we've set up an uh, idle walking and running for our character. So now we're just going to set this up in an animation blueprint. So you right click, create animation, and animation blueprint. We'll select the wolf skeleton again, and I'll just call this wolf animation blueprint. And we can double click and go inside. And right click, uh, create a new state machine, and We'll just plug this in and it's going to draw our character's animations. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag in the blend space we just made. And then if we just double click and go inside, we'll create a new variable and call it speed. And this will control whether our character's in his idle, walking, or running animation. So I'll just get speed and plug this in and compile. And we're going to set up his sync animation so that our wolf can sit down and then stand back up again. So I'm just going to look for seat. So wolf idle to see, and I'll just plug this in. And to enter our sitting animation, I'm going to create a new variable and call it sit. And then we need to change the variable type to a boolean and just compile. And then I'm just going to drag it in. So when my wolf is sitting, he's going to enter his sitting animation. And then I'm going to drag his seat to idle so that he can go from his sitting to his idle animation. So I'm going to get my sit, and after this, I'm going to drag not so my character not seeing he's going to go back to his default idle animation so i'll just plug this back into the wall but on space 1d and if i go inside here i'm going to right click and look for time remaining wolf and then of oh, this i'm going to look for less than and we'll make it one and just plug this in so now we can test this works if i go to my sit rebel and click the sit and just click compile we can see my wolf will now sit, but it keeps looping the animation. So we go into it and uncheck loop animation. And I'll just do this for the other one. Uncheck loop animation and compile. So I'm just going to go back to it and uncheck it so my character is not sitting by default. So if I just compile this, we're going to now set up our wolf character. So I'm going to go to my third person BP, set the blueprints. I'm going to control C uh, and control V and just duplicate the third person character. I'm going to rename this my wolf and we can just double click and go to the viewport and I'm just going to change the skeletal mesh to the wolf skeletal mesh and the animation to our animation blueprint that we created so I'll just select it and move it back a bit I'm going to scale my wolf up a bit so he's a bit big and now we're going to set up the code for our wolf so that he will follow our player and will sit when he's commanded to so if we go to event begin play First thing I'm going to do is drag in my wolf smash. From here, I'm going to look for get anim instance. From here, we can cast to the wolf animation blueprint. So we look for cast to wolf animation blueprint, and we'll just plug this in. Then I'm going to right click on this, and as the wolf animation blueprint, I'm going to promote it to a variable. I'm going to be referencing this later. So I'll just call this wolf animations. After this, we're going to set the timer by event. And you just want to check this and make the time 0.1 seconds. So we're going to make an event, and every 0.1 seconds is going to check to see if it should chase the player. So I'll just create a custom event and call this follow player. And first, we're going to make a branch. So we need to make sure that the wolf's not sitting down. And if the wolf's not sitting down, we're going to make it chase the player. So we're going to drag in our wolf animations that we just made. And then from here, we're going to get sit. And if get sit is not true, 
So I'm going to drag not. Then we're going to make it so our wolf will follow our player. So to do this, we're just going to right click and cast to our third person character. And just plug this into true. And as the object, we're going to get the player character. And then we can right click and look for AI move to. And just plug this in. And plug the as third person character into the target actor. And for the pawn, we want to get a reference to the self. So, whoops, I selected the wrong one. So, self. And for the acceptance radius, I'm going to make mine 250. So, when my wolf's within 250, it will stop chasing and moving towards the player. So, now I'm going to set up his sitting script. So, I'm going to right click and create a custom event. So, I'll call this sit. So, when this is called, my wolf is going to do his sit animation and not be able to move. So, after this, I'm just going to have a short delay. So I'm look for delay and then I'm going to do a flip flop. So when we call this, it'll first call our wolf to sit and then when we call it again, it'll cause him to stand up. So I'm going to drag in my wolf animations and from here we can set the sit variable we made. So I'm going to set sit, check this box and then plug it in. And then I'm going to drag in my uh, character movement and I'm going to deactivate it so my character cannot move anymore. And just plug this in. And then I'm going to duplicate this, Control C and Control V. And then uncheck it so my wolf will un not do this animation anymore. And I'll have another delay of one second. So while my character is doing his set animation. And then we're going to enable his movement again. So off of this, we want to look for set active and check this box. So the first one we do this, he won't be able to move. Then we do it again, he'll get up and then he'll be able to move. And chase our player again. So we can just compile this and now we can set it up so that our character can command our wolf to sit and get up. So I'm going to go to my third person character and we are going to, in some free space, right click. So if we, I'm going to make it the right mouse button and when this is pressed, we're going to do a line trace for objects. So we need to make sure it's line trace for objects. And then the object type, we're going to make array. We need to make sure that this object type is a pawn because our wolf's um, collision is a pawn. So in its capsule collision, it's a pawn. So we need to make sure that we can collide and detect this. So at the start of this trace, we are going to get our actor's location. So we look for get actor location and just plug this into the start and then I'm going to add vector we're going to get the rotation of our character then we are going to get the forward vector and then multiply vector by float and I'll make this 500 so just draw a line in front of our player and if it hits the wolf, we're gonna make him sit. So for draw debug type, I'm gonna make it full duration so you can see the line that will appear when we hit. And after hit result, we're gonna break hit result and then hit actor, we're gonna cast to the wolf. And if we hit the wolf when it's in front of us, as the wolf, we can call the sit custom event we made. So I'm gonna look for sit and just compile. So now we can test everything out to see if it works. So I'm just gonna drag the wolf in. And we need to add a nav mesh so that our wolf knows where to walk and go to. So I'm gonna drag in this nav mesh bounds volume. And you wanna click P if you can't see that green thing. This will just show us all the areas our wolf can walk in. So I'm just gonna drag this and expand it so my wolf can walk everywhere, and even up the stairs if I want him to. And now we can click play and test this out. So our wolf is walking towards us, but he is not moving with any animations. I think I forgot to set that up. So what we want to do is go to our wolf's animation blueprint in the event graph. Off the try get pawn owner, we want to get velocity. And then from this, we want to get the vector length. So if we look for vector length and then we want to drag in speed and set speed 
and plug this in. So this will just tell us if our wolf should be in its idle walking or running animation. So we click compile. And now if we play, it should work. So our wolf runs towards us with his animations and will continue to follow our player. But if my player goes up to the wolf, right clicks, and my trace hits him, my wolf will stop and we're free to move around and the wolf won't follow us. If I go back to the wolf and right click and I hit him, my wolf gets up and will now start to follow me like the loyal companion he is. And that is all. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel out. And I will see you next time. Bye.